Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Alan. Hey, I've got something drawn out on the table here. I know it's hard to see with the glare and everything and so many lines that need to come out. But what I'm doing, I need to make some window screens. And this is what I'm looking, or the pattern that I'm looking at. You can kind of see it's three quarter inch lines that go up. That's the frame around it. The outside frame. It needs to be 36 by 24 on the inside. And I wanted the inside to be a square, so I've got a gap here that I'm gonna do something with also. But it's just gonna go over windows. Uh, the first thing I could tell you that I would definitely do different, and I hadn't done anything but draw it out, is I would draw it out on plywood. Because now if I do more than one, I have to do them all at once, or I'll have to draw all that out again. On plywood, you can just set it to the side and pull it out whenever you want it. So definitely if you do this, Draw it out on plywood or something. <laughs> but anyway, I guess what I'm gonna start out with is doing this frame right here. Get in, get it put in, then probably this put in. Then start cutting out this kind of cross right here. And then we'll start adding in all the corners after that. And I'm doing this with three corners. Starting to get everything cut out on a chop saw. This is really better. If you have two chop saws, that way you can set the pieces that have one angle on one end and a different angle on the other end. You can set both chop saws to that angle and it works out a whole lot better. I actually was using two of them, but the other one that I had to guard it on there to lock it in. So I was having to kind of clamp it in and this and that. The little slide is messed up on both of those saws. I tried to take them apart and make one of them work but it's two different it's the same saw but it's two different styles and i kind of got one working but not very well but it still gets it done just trying to get it all laid out right here most of the pieces are just 45 degrees so it's uh it's not that bad on the cuts but a lot of the little pieces did have a different uh end a different angle And definitely if you can do it all out of a longer stick instead of trying to cut little bitty small pieces down and stuff. A lot of times you'd have to use the grinder for that. All right, I've been cutting some of the stuff out. A bunch of pieces over here, pieces here, pieces there. But uh, I noticed when I started trying to put some stuff together that some of my drawing is off. And this was one of the main ones. It's hard to see in the picture, but this side's actually longer than this side, and it shouldn't be like that. They should all, all these pieces should be the same right here. So what I did, tried to come up with a different way of putting it together instead of redrawing. I'm trying to put these together, just tacking them up. And I'll get those all put together, and then I can go ahead and buff those welds out on there, and then start fitting them in kind of see where it goes in that corner then we'll come back and fit that in where it goes it goes right there somewhere but uh so the drawing is kind of off a little bit so we're just gonna make do with it as it goes and i think as long as i do all these first that that'll work out hopefully i see i got my miters off a little bit already I cut those at like 21 or something. I thought I was right. I knew it was 22.5 though. I knew it was and I still went against it. But anyway, it won't be hard to fill that up. So we're gonna get to cleaning them all up right quick and try to put some of those together. I'm using this little belt sander, belt disc sander from Fever. I got it in the other day and it's making quick work of deburring all this stuff. This is a great little sander. I've been wanting to get one for a while now. I finally got one. For these small parts like this where you're just trying to get the burr off and stuff, man, it does really well. I'll link, leave a link in the description box where you can go over and check them out. I'd highly recommend getting one of those if you've got a lot of parts that you have to clean regularly. And if you do any wood stuff, you know it's excellent for wood.
then these just are some of those pieces that go on the inside. These magnets came in real handy for that. And that's the ones I mean with the different angle. On that outside corner I did first, it's a 45 at a 90. And the uh, inside is cut at 22.5. So if you got a chop saw set at each, each angle, it comes out a lot better, <laughs> a lot easier anyway. All right, all that's working out pretty good. It's just kind of sitting in there right now. These are still come out. But I think that'll actually work out better than what I was originally planning. Because now I can weld all these pieces out and go ahead and buff these welds, the ones that's gonna be hard on the inside, get them knocked out. I'm probably not gonna weld. This is going on the inside. So I may not weld these inside ones since I ain't gonna have to worry about water getting inside it. I may, I don't know. Let's see how it looks. They're all closed up pretty tight on the inside. The gap was on the outside. So that actually works to my favor on that. We'll see how it goes, but now I'm gonna get those, these pieces welded out and buff them down and then try to start getting it all put together. These are the little small parts on the corners that's actually holding all that into the frame. And those were different. I was flat on one side and then a 45 cut on the other end. These really look a lot more complicated in the drawing than they actually are. The first couple would be tough, you know, getting used to it. But you'd get used to it after that, especially with two chop saws and one of those disc, disc sanders. It'd go pretty quick. I was trying to get some footage of putting these little squares together, but after the third time I cut them wrong, I kind of got aggravated and just went ahead and finally got it done and said, screw it. I kept measuring to the outside when I should have been measuring to the inside. and I don't know. Sometimes it just doesn't work out, <laughs> but it finally did after the third time. That's almost all of it there, trying to get it in. It still has to be welded out both sides then these are just some little feet i had to raise it up some so i could still open the window latch and it'll just be screwed in through those feet there and that's pretty much it besides cleaning it up i went ahead and hung it up on there i got to get some better screws for it that's just sheet metal screws holding it in but i'm gonna pull it back down and paint it and get some bolts in it and that'll pretty much be it on it. I think I'm gonna take that one and trace it out on plywood like I was saying it at the beginning and do at least one more like that. But anyway, that's it for this one. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.